ladies, thank you. I'll see you. So great to see some more ladies have joined us. And thank you so much. I'd like to, to introduce my friend, Yoko Van Dam, who is the most amazing person. She has a wonderful wow. business going. <laughs> a, a wow person. And she had a business going. And during COVID, it would have taken a dive. But she just persevered. And she just went for it. And she just carried on going. And wow, it is amazing. Because now she's not only got local, but international clients as well. And she is just doing such amazing stuff. And she's got some lovely stuff. Um, I lined up for you girls. So yes, go for it, Yoko. Welcome. Thank you so much, Margaret. What would you prefer doing? Would you rather bungee jump down a cliff or speak in front of a crowd of a thousand people? Can you just put for me in the chat box or even come off mute the ladies that are here? What would you rather do? So Shane's saying bungee jump. Margaret says speak, but I mean, she gets paid to speak, you know? And then Claudine <laughs> saying speak. I'm, I'm terrified <laughs> of bungee jumping, speaking. <laughs> <laughs> so some of you are saying speaking so a lot of you are saying speaking wonderful and so I've been in the business of um, training speakers and I've done a lot of work with um, anything from CEOs like Ian Fo used to be the CEO of Sorbet who had so many nightmares that his wife actually cornered me and said please can you do some NLP coaching with him so that I can have a life because she was finding that for three months before speaking engagement, he wouldn't sleep. And you know that if your husband isn't sleeping, you're not sleeping either, right? So, so what I've done throughout the years is I've actually helped even actresses. One of my friends, Marianthi Stalismart, last year, I coached her on presentation skills and they actually won funding to make their own film. And she wrote the film and acted in her own film. So how cool is that? So they won the pitch is a, so today I actually want to share some of these techniques with you because I know that you are going to get onto that stage. You're going to grab that microphone and I want you to shine because that's what I do with people. And besides that opportunity, there's a lot of other opportunities. Um, I mean, the other day when we were at the events where I was speaking at a well for Margaret, you have opportunities face to face to also raise funds for charities. Um, as a, okay, let's just say a beauty queen, you're actually becoming a thought leader and you're going to have a voice. And I would love to empower you to use your voice authentically and to actually realize that there's a power in the platform and that you can actually motivate and inspire a lot of people. And I want to really encourage you how to do that. So what I always teach people, I have a six week presentation bootcamp. I'm going to share a few free events that you could also attend next week if you wanted. But what people mostly judge you on. So let's say you're there on stage at the Mrs. SA final on the 26th of November, as Margaret was saying. People are going to look at what do you look like? Okay, so luckily you're all gorgeous. So you'll find there, you're gonna be wearing a beautiful dress, hopefully. And, um, so, so that's in the first regard. They're looking at what do they see, okay? So that's where grooming comes in. A lot of you ladies were even commenting on Claudine's look right now. Um, if you are doing something virtually, it would actually be, are you looking into the camera lens? What does your body language look like? But what people will judge you on also, and this is where you maybe need to do some work. I'm going to give you a little trick to do. Is they're going to judge you based on how confident you look. And how you see confidence has to do with body language, but also to do with breathing. So in my NLP coaching, we'll often, when I am coaching a specific person, I can, I can get into rapport with them looking at their breathing. So if you're breathing in a very shallow way and very fast, a person can see that you're super stressed out. If your pupils are loose, so if a person's on drugs, you actually see the eyes go really large or tiny. You've seen that, Ladine's like saying that, right? But what you'll also see is, and that's where people start sweating, their face will go red, you know, like stress behavior. So that's what naturally happens, right? So I'm going to give you a little trick and I'll send you to a TED talk that you can go and watch. And this is part of my course as well. So this is for free. Is what you can do is the night before, and I want you to quickly just do this visualization of me right now. Look to your left and imagine you can see a TV screen. So just put a TV screen there. <laughs> okay. And I want you to imagine you there on stage at the Mrs. SA final. But now imagine the beautiful dress you're wearing, the um, way you're standing. Are you holding a microphone? Is it a handheld? Is it a standing microphone? Is it a lapel microphone? 
But now imagine you doing it in a really powerful way where the audience is maybe laughing at your jokes, they're nodding their heads, they're very captivated. You can see from the audience while wow, they're enjoying you. Like the way we were enjoying Claudine right now when she was teaching us, wow, you know, where everyone's like smiling, engaging. You're actually seeing that interaction. So guys, that is just a little flicker of it. But what I want you to do the night before, and you can do it on your own, is you visualize that, but then you make it deeper. So then you imagine, how do you want to feel? So if you want to do it right now, you can quickly think like, how do you want to feel? Do you want to feel comfortable in your belly? Do you want to feel a bit of, little bit of butterflies just so that you like feel like I'm alive? Or do you want to be so zen that it looks like you're on tracks? You don't want to be like that, right? If you like to relax, you're not good either. Thanks, Natalie, for that love. So, so you need to work on what is the state that you want to have in that situation. So what, what happens with NLP is you actually create mental memory. So you create that mental muscle. And through the NLP work that I do with my clients, but you could do that on your own as well, like I'm teaching you now, you will actually create that so that it can actually kick in on the night that you can say to yourself, oh, wow, I've done this before. So if you can go and try and find an experience where you were totally, totally insane, confident, powerful. So maybe it was with, um, with a wow event with Margaret where you're having a glass of wine or appetizer where you were telling like a funny story around a campfire. When was a time where you felt like, wow, if I could have that on stage, People will love me. So you've all done it, right? Maybe it was with your kids when you were reading them a nighttime story. So find those experiences and then you tap into that. So that's the one technique. The other technique that I have for you is if you search for, and I'll ask, I'll ask um, Shane to just put that into the chat and I'll do it afterwards as well, is there's a TED talk from Amy Cuddy. And what Amy Cuddy says, she does these power poses. So Amy Cuddy did research with um, psychologists and she actually found that if you for two minutes do power poses, so I'm sure you guys have seen this. So can everyone quickly do this or like put your hands on the hips or stand like so. So if you do that, so Natalie's doing that beautifully. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Margaret. Thanks, Joe. So if you do high end power poses, what happens is your cortisol, your stress levels actually goes down and your, your testosterone levels actually goes up. So if you look at really powerful people like um, Richard Branson, he's always doing scary things, but he never looks stressed out. So they are operating on high testosterone, low cortisol, so very low stress levels, and yet they're very assertive and strong. So I just wanted to share with you, a um, few years ago, I was asked to, I, I applied to be a speaker at a psycho event, you know, like the South African Institute of Chartered, Chartered Accountants. And then um, it's the afternoon, 5 p.m., and I'm going out, and I see this email in my inbox, and there's like the agenda and I am on the list of speakers for the next day, right? And I phone the lady, I'm like, did you make a mistake? No one told me <laughs> that I'm speaking. Can you just brief me? And she says to me, um, yes, you're speaking. I'm sorry, didn't we let you know? Anyway, and um, as you are, as an entrepreneur, you never say no, you always say yes. You take any opportunities to get your business out there. It was like in front of, 200 CAs, um, really high-end business people that could book me as a speaker. So you're definitely not going to say no, but you can also not suck, right? <laughs> so if you say that you do presentation skills and you can't present, oh my goodness, like they're not going to use you, right? So, um, so I was a bit stressed out that night. I had plans. The next whole day, I was busy with clients. Anyway, I moved some meetings around. I had time to prepare, but I was stressed out that night. So what did I do? I visualized myself on stage, as I told you guys to do. I imagined me with the Limpel microphone. Um, I could only have a few slides. So I visualized me holding the clicker, you know, how I was going to do the microphone, the lights on me, all of that. So I did all of that visualizations. Then I panicked a bit because I didn't have enough. I didn't actually put a lot of prompts on the slide. And like what I teach for people in my courses is you never want to turn your back to the audience. 
So if you are presenting with slides, you always want to look forward. You either want to, sometimes you'll have a screen close by where you could check all you need to know all of your things, or you could have like prompt cards in your own hand, but you never want to turn to your, back to the audience, right? So I started panicking and I was like, oh my goodness. Like I, I can't turn my back, all of these things. What if I like um, have a blank? So I literally went to the bathroom. I always have a notebook with me and I created my own prompt cards in the bathroom <laughs> where I just quickly put four bullet points, you know, like the main things that I could hold in my hand because I knew I need to have something. So um, if you notice that at Margaret's events when we were raising the funds um, that Sunday um, at Taste, I had a mind map that I just put down. I didn't even use it, but it was there. I always have something that I could fall back on. You never want to like die out flat, right? <laughs> so you need to look at what do you need to be okay? So, um, so what I want to say to you is I went into the bathroom. I closed the door behind me. I did my power poses. I did my visualizations. I made my prom cards and I was okay. So you can really do it. There's still time for you before the 26th of November. If you need help, I am a coach that can help you. And I have a few free events and I have a course starting on the 1st of November that could definitely help you, not just for this, but ongoing in your career. So just in a nutshell, um, the free events next week, Monday, I'm speaking at the Professional Speakers Botswana Mastermind. And what that's all about is I speak about when I walked out of corporate and into my own business, it was very threatening because I used to always have a big brand name. So I was working for Oxford Publishers, Pearson Publishers, Auto Trader, and people would give us appointments easily because you had that brand name. And then I went out on my own and I was like, why will people care? Like right now you have the brand name of Mrs. South Africa, right? That's a brand name to fall back on. People will take you seriously, so use it anyway. So what I did, what I'm going to tell you in that talk is how do you become a thought leader and how do you create credibility and trust so that people can trust you? And um, that's going to be a free event. I've put the details in the chat. I'm going to ask Shane to send it out. Please join us. Please invite your friends. It's really going to be my vulnerable stories of um, what I did. I talk about strategic networking and it can really help you in your business a lot. And then my other free events, it's actually for five ways to diversify your income. It's actually for the medical and wellness industry and um, you ladies are all welcome. So what I found is during lockdown, so many people really struggle if they can't see clients. So it's kind of like a full leadership angle as well as how do you make money if you can't physically see you know so if you're an optometrist a physiotherapist if you are even in the beauty industry you know you're doing skin treatments whatever how can you make money in different ways and that's really that could be through speaking podcasting i talk a lot about that and then ultimately it actually leads to the the paid course but hopefully you can find some gems in there um if you go to my link tree link you'll find links to my youtube channel lots of free content on there on my website, lots of free content on there. I really want to encourage you ladies to say, don't just be the pretty face. Use your authentic voice and realize the power of the platform. Realize that the fact that you will be given a microphone means that you can actually influence and persuade so many. And I know that Margaret always takes it very seriously. And I would love you to do that as well and realize that people are going to look up at you. People are going to be inspired through what you say and um, use your voice with intent and enjoy it because um, it's, it can be really powerful, but it can really be very enjoyable as well. Thank you so much for your time, Margaret. Thank you. Ladies. Thank you, Yoko. That was wonderful. And thank you for, for, for um, allowing us to have all these free contents. I'm definitely going to join you for your Botswana talk as well. Yay! Yeah. <laughs>